So here is what I think could potentially be playing out here. This is Bitcoin on the three day time frame. I've been talking about this time frame for some time and I've been telling you why you need to have your eyes on it. As we can see here, this is a descending triangle and in other time frames, you will see this candle tops here going up a lot further to the upside than what you see here. So the other day I was live on Instagram and we drew this price targets and Bitcoin quite literally bounced off of this one live. Now, of course, by closing under here, this is telling us that it is trying to go for the price targets of the descending triangle. But what you have to understand, as I've said before, when you see any price drop, there is a very high tendency for Bitcoin to retrace about 50% of the candle of that price drop. And if it does that to this candle here, it will put Bitcoin somewhere around $17,600 to $17,800 before going for the next target of the descending triangle. Now, know that it may as well just go for the target. It, there, there are no guarantees here. You might be like, so why wouldn't it just go back up there? Which is a possibility. But because this is on the three-day time frame, all of these candles here represent three days of price action, which means things like fakeouts are highly unlikely. So to summarize, we will be looking at $18,000 as resistance henceforth. And the first price target here, which will be at $12,782. The second price target, which is this one, and this is actually the last price target for the descending triangle, sits somewhere around $10,000 here, which is somewhere around here. Now, this price target that you see here, which is which is this one right here at $9,876, actually dates back to the all-time high. So you can see the bear flag from the all time high like so. So from here and by the way, I started being bearish somewhere around here, which was around 63,000, I think around here. So we descended from the pole into this rising wedge here. Now closing here. Now this is around 40K. You see how my line aligns itself with this moving average here. This is how you start to test if your lines are drawn correctly. They should align themselves with moving averages if drawn correctly. So right about here, you could know with a high degree of certainty that we are going to plummet right down to here. Which is why I always say the news is not so important because what is going to happen is already written in the chart. You just need to learn how to read it without emotion. So as we continue to look at this, the bear flag here is pointing to this zone down here, which will put it at about $9,800. And the descending triangle here is pointing to about $12,000, which is the second price target. Remember, the first one has already been met, which was met live with us on Instagram. And the third price target of the descending triangle is pointing to somewhere around 10 k Now, note that an 85% discount is what Bitcoin usually does in its bear markets. That's from the bull market high to the bear market low. And these targets are sitting right about that 85% discount. Now, 85% discount from uh, 69,000 is 11K. And 12K to 9K is eerily close to 11K, isn't it? So we have a lot of confluences here. Also note that this target here, if you were on my YouTube live the other day, sits right at the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio. Now, Fibonacci is a very, very complicated and esoteric topic. It goes more with superstition, I would say. But this target sits right about that Fibonacci uh, golden ratio. If drawn with a trend-based Fibonacci tool, that's from here, this top right here at uh, 25,200, I think, to the low at 17.5K. Here. And this uh, high here. So if you take the trend based FIP on your uh, trading view or whatever platform you're using, you go to the high here. That's that you're using the weeks with a trend based FIP. You don't use the body of the candle. You use the weeks of the candle to get accurate prices. So you use the week from here to the low here and to this uh, high here. That would put the 1.618 Fibonacci golden uh, ratio at the exact target here. 
So since we have a lot of confluences here, this is where I will go in in Bitcoin heavily. Of course, I have been predicting 3K, 7K, but the risk with missing out would take you an entire bull market to see Bitcoin cheap again.